Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's project is a nice little box that I've made here for the shop and it's to keep my pen turning equipment in. It's made from pallet wood, the, the box, the main box is pallet wood, the, the lid is pallet wood, I've got mahogany strips um, and on the inside I've used a little bit of pine um, strip wood that I found and a couple of bits of plywood for the base and the dividers. Um, yeah, happy days, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you at the end. progress update we've cut rabbits in the side here to accept the sides and that's just going to butt up next to that and that's going to help to keep it nice and square and we did that on the table saw and we've also routed in a little groove in the bottom and on the sides all the way through and that's to accept the plywood base and we're getting ready for gluing that up now there's not going to be much weight in this one so I'm quite happy to use a thin piece of wood for, for the base we're going to use a couple of bank lamps and a couple of corner clamps and we're going to leave that to dry overnight. So now I'm going to move on to doing the tray inlay. Um, I have found this length of strip pine. Um, it's a little bit thicker than I wanted. I was thinking about using 1 8 plywood, but I think that's going to be a little bit too thin for what I wanted to do. So I'm going to lose a little bit more space than I was anticipating using this wood, but I think the tray will be a little bit stronger, which is, which is more what we really need. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that down now. Ok 
Okay, so one thing that I need to do now is I need to figure out um, the distance between this board and this board to give me my edges. Um, and a nice quick way of doing that is to use a couple of scrap blocks. Now I got this trick off Bob, I like to make stuff, one of my favourite YouTubers. Um, and all you do is you put your boards in to the side, you get a little bit of CA glue on your scraps. And a bit of activator on your other one and then what you do is you put the two boards together down inside the hole in the gap and you put the two together and hold them and then that will give me my distance that I need to set my stop block from the blade to give me my internal to give me my internal uh, length for the for the sides that simple nice little dead easy trick works every time Okay, it's the next day and the glue up's all done. The next stage now is to get a flush trim bit in the router and I'm going to use that now just to take off these edges and square everything up. I'm also going to do that on the outside of the big box as well, uh, just to trim up.
So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, the box turned out really well, I'm really pleased with it, um, it's going to make my life just a little bit easier when I'm doing pen turning, I can have everything out in the open, it's not inside any little plastic bags, everything's where I need it to be, um, I'm really pleased with the way it's turned out, I think it looks really nice with the the, uh, the mahogany strip for the lid, I'm pleased I went for that, um, I did say in the video that I was going to get rid of this lip in the lid, I decided against that, um, and I've kept that in, and I've just put a chamfer on the edge there just to add a little bit of detail and I've also done the same on the bottom as well creates a nice little shallow effect when it's sitting there um, I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up if you did um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share with your friends and have a great Christmas and I shall see you all in the new year take care guys, bye